Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For oh my gosh, no. On my channel, a thousand I years later. Why did I think it was a good idea to wear a dress? To wear a dress in this weather. It's cold. It's so cold. Hey guys, so this is take two of me trying to film this. I tried to film this yesterday, but um yeah it was a fail anyway so welcome back to my channel for those of you guys who don't know me my name is nicole and i'm so happy you clicked on this video anyone who's new to this channel on my channel i discuss accounting topics and my take on the accounting career as well as share with you guys my experiences within the accounting world i also throw in beauty videos lifestyle videos and vlogs every now and again so if you are interested in that type of content make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, I'm gonna take my glasses off just because I don't like the reflection but so moving on to today's video you guys have been asking me as to um, what are the accounting classes that you need to take so that you could become an accountant CPA blah blah, blah. and also if you should um, if you need to have an associate's degree in order for you to get an accounting degree and become an accountant and short answer to that is a no you do not need to have an associate's degree first i highly um i highly discourage people from getting associate's degree if you know that you want to have a four-year degree and you want to have a bachelor's and eventually a master's because with an associate's degree you can get jobs depending on what kind of job the level that it is however in order for you to um, get a job in public accounting as an actual accountant auditor and get your CPA you are going to need to have a bachelor's degree and maybe a master's degree so I typically don't advise getting um, associate's degree I would just recommend that you guys go straight through a four or five year program I do I would say this if you are taking classes in community college I would take classes in community college for like your your um Core, is it are they like not core classes i forgot what they're called the classes that you take when you're like a freshman and a sophomore like your maths and your writings and all of those um basic classes i would recommend taking that at community at a community college however i wouldn't recommend doing like two years at a community college first and especially for houston because i know a lot of people in houston do that they go to hcc houston community college first um but I don't recommend that because first of all, you're wasting your time. Second of all, you're wasting your money. And third of all, it's going to take you way longer for you to graduate than if you would have just gone through a regular um, four-year program. So um, an associate's degree is good for people who really want to, who don't um, want to spend too much time studying. That's what I've seen or sorry if I'm wrong, but this is just my personal experience um, and what I've seen. My husband, he has an associate's degree. Um, when he came to the United States as a international student, he was also told that in order for him to save money and cost, he should go get his associate's degree first and then transfer to a four-year university. And he did do that. He he went to school for mechanical engineering and he has an associate's degree in, in mathematics and applied sciences. And he, I'm sorry, but like he doesn't even use his associate's degree. He was not able to get any jobs or even internships with just having an, an associate's degree. So just needless to say, his associate's degree to a certain extent was not useful to him. And in the accounting career, I find that similar. There's really not much use unless you're fine being a accounts payable clerk, accounts receivable clerk, and you just want to do that, then that's perfectly fine. However, um, you I I recommend that everybody go to a four-year university and just take classes at community college for like your maths and English and with that I'm not saying take that first and then apply to college I'm saying you need to apply to a four-year college get accepted be in the program in the business school um for whether you do accounting or whatever business major or whatever major you're gonna do make sure that you have already applied to the school and you have already gotten into the school and then make sure that that school does allow um, certain classes to transfer in because a lot of mistake that people do when they get these associates degree or go to these community colleges is that you're taking these classes spending this money because yes you are spending money 
And at the end of the day, when it's time for you to switch to a four-year university, half of the classes that you've taken don't even transfer. I'm telling you guys, again, my husband did the same thing, same experiences. Some classes that he took at community college that he paid for, they did not transfer to they did not transfer with him or did not go the credits didn't go towards his degree so um i would make sure to do that so what i did when i was in college i did not take any classes in community college until after i had graduated however because i um okay let me get my thoughts together okay so what i did is I did I completed my accounting degree within four years and then because I was a few credits I was a few credits short of my 150 to sit for the CPA and I did move to Houston at the time and I knew I was going to start my career in Houston and that's where I thought I was gonna get my CPA licensing in Texas so I took extra classes at Houston Community College so that I could have my 150 degrees and Houston Community College is um is accredited their accounting program is accredited so you can take classes with them that can count towards your cpa exam however that doesn't mean that you just need to go to houston community college and then that's it with your accounting career no you need to go to a four-year university you need to get at least a bachelor's degree and then you can get your 150 by taking classes at community college or taking classes at your university um or just go and get a master's in accounting or a master's in something so um that's that but like i was saying get make sure that you are enrolled in a four-year university and when you are enrolled let's say you're gonna start in the fall then maybe once you're already enrolled in the summertime you can get your english and your math and all of that out of the way whoa you can get all of that out of the way by taking it at your local community college and then i'm pretty sure that that should transfer but make sure you find out with your university first if that is an option but do not i repeat don't go for an associate's degree and then transfer to a four-year university if you want to do accounting because it's going to slow you down and you're going to end up spending more money than you really needed to so that is my spiel on that if you guys have more questions let me know if you guys want me to do another video let me know if you feel that i was not detailed let me know and i will go ahead and um and i guess make another video answering that if you guys want to know in full detail um in regards to how to get your cpa i'm going to link the video i have videos on this already so i'm not really going to touch in detail too much about it but that um i am going to tell you guys the classes that i had to take in order for me to get my accounting degree in the description box i'm going to list every single class that i took at penn state for those of you guys who don't know i am a penn state alumnus i graduated from penn state university in 2017 with a bachelor's degree in accounting i'm going to have down below every single class that's on my transcript that i took at penn state if you guys want to know that but in terms of accounting courses, my very first accounting class was an intro to accounting and that was a weed out course. What is a weed out course, Nicole? What are you talking about? We don't know this. We don't know these terminologies. So a weed out course is a course that you take to and it pretty much determines if you are going to go into that major or not. Um, a lot of people take this course. So intro to accounting, a lot of people take it and then they realize eh, accounting isn't for me. Um, I really am not interested in a topic or you're not doing good in the class. So you know that maybe you shouldn't follow this, this major. And for my accounting course, funny story, I say it all the time, but um, in my account, my, my accounting course, the professor told us like, don't get too comfortable with the people around you because the people you see are not going to be here at the end of this course. And we all took it as a joke, but guys, I tell you, first exam comes around the half of the like it knocked down the class by like half the second exam comes around there's like nobody left in the class by the time we took the final i think there was only 15 of us in that class if i'm not mistaken uh because that's what weed out courses do they're not meant to be easy they're meant to challenge you and to really see if you're meant to be in this major or not so the first class that i took was intro to accounting and then after that, I took um, 
I did take a in, I did take an introduction to finance course as well because it was a part of the requirement for business class uh, for the business school. And then I took intermediate one and intermediate two. At some schools, I know they teach it all in one, but at my school, it's taught separate. You have intermediate one and intermediate two. And then I also had a managerial accounting course. That was my worst grade within my accounting classes guys like i got a d in that class and part of the reason was because um i was going to interviews when i took that class it was in the fall of my junior year and that's when i was going to so many interviews left and right and i had so much going on and at that point i was giving up on school anyway so i really wasn't trying in that class uh so i ended up getting a d but that was managerial accounting i took an audit class um, that was my senior year, my last semester. I took an audit class. I did tax class. I had two tax classes that I had to take as well. So I did principles of taxation one, principles of tax of, of taxation two. Um, and I think those were all the accounting courses that I took in my undergrad. So um, I did intro to accounting, intermediate one, intermediate two, managerial accounting, audit, yeah, audit, uh, tax one, tax two, basically. Um, and then tax one was more individual, individual family tax. And then tax two was corporate tax, so like S Corp, C Corps, all that LLC, all those types of taxes um, is what I did. And um, the first time I took intermediate one, I had to withdraw from it because I was doing so bad. And there was just like, like I said, that semester, I don't know who told me that I could take managerial accounting and intermediate one at the same time, as well as as get myself involved with recruiting and going to all these interviews so that I could get a job. I was crazy. So I had to withdraw from one of them. And then I withdrew from intermediate instead of managerial because managerial, I could I was fine with a D. If I passed, um, I would have still graduated and not have to retake it. But with intermediate, you need to pass with a C or better um or else you will have to retake it or get dropped so i did not want to do that and then risk having a low gpa so i took intermediate twice um the first time i withdrew the second time i got a c plus um i think i ended up with a b or a c in audit not sure and then in my tax classes i actually did really well i got an a um, I got a B on my first tax class and in my second tax class, I got an A. Was it or no, or did I get a B and an A? I don't know. I know my tax class, I got an A and a B. I don't know which way it went. Um, in my accounting information class, I passed it with a B. Uh, so yeah, that's those are the classes. And like I said, I'm going to have every single class that I took uh, down below. And also, I highly encourage you guys taking GPA boosters. So if it's in the summertime or if you have one semester where you're taking 12 to 15 class 12 to 15 credits, go ahead and take 18 credits. Take a take a language class. I would say take a language class especially because one you're learning a new language that you can then apply to your resume and it definitely helps in the business world and two it is a great GPA booster. Like I needed a GPA booster my last um my spring summit was it spring or fall i don't remember my last year of college i needed a gpa booster because um one of my classes one of my accounting classes was just not going well for me um i was just struggling i knew all the material but i was just struggling when it came to exams because i do have testing anxiety but in jesus name that is getting better now um but yeah i did have test testing anxiety so um I was just not doing good on the exams for some reason but when in, and then i would go and sit with the professor and retake the exam he would give me the exam and have me retake it and then i knew everything so i had no clue what was going on but obviously with the retake it wouldn't count um he just wanted me he he it was a way for him to help me understand what was going on with myself and also to reassure me that i new accounting and i knew the stuff it was just bad testing anxiety i don't know um but yeah 
why did i go off on that tangent i don't remember <laughs> but yeah gpa boosters that's what i was trying to say um make sure you guys take a gpa booster because like i said the class one of my accounting classes was not going well and i was on borderline um, my gpa dropping and i did not want my gpa to drop below a 3.0 um or or have like a really low gpa so i took a spanish class and that was four credits and i was able to boost my gpa that way um and my husband has done the same thing where he took gpa a gpa booster and it really helped um it really helped him and after he took that class he was able to get scholarships because his gpa was at the requirement to be able to get certain scholarships but yeah um that's a story for another day if you guys want to hear our different college experiences and now currently in grad school i my concentration is in accounting so i'm taking um currently i'm taking an accounting theory class i've taken um another accounting information systems um another just basic accounting intro class but the grad school level and whatever other accounting classes that i take i've taken or i'm gonna take i can't think off of the top of my head anymore uh, i hope this video was helpful sorry if it was all over the place but i'm on my lunch break and this is the only time i have to even film this video for you guys or else you guys won't get it upload <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget that i am doing weekly giveaways this whole um this whole month of march so make sure you guys are interacting in my videos commenting go back to my old videos comment on those if you haven't seen any of them make sure you're following me on instagram as well on either of my instagram accounts um, so that I can know you guys are active, you guys are liking this content, and I'll be picking a, a winner weekly to win some cool prizes. Um, the, you guys need to stay tuned because the prizes are going to be nice. They're, they're going to be nice. They're going to be some really cool stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.